My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Well, pow, check this thing out. This thing just hits you right in the face. That bright house of colors blue with the flames and the sparkling chrome wheels. And guess what? It's a Ford with all Ford running gear. It's a 302 with an automatic overdrive and a nine inch rear. It's also got disc brakes, Mustang two for an end, uh, air condition. So it's good to go. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. And that's where you'll find price tags on every collector car that we have for sale. That's at volocars.com. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, subscribe and click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is a sharp looking car. This is going to grab attention. Uh, how could you not turn your head and look at this going down the road? Uh, and it's affordable. It's not at the high end of things. It's a sharp looking car, ready to go to any cruise night, uh, but it's not perfect. Uh, and I think it's affordable compared to what's out there. So anyway, uh, they tell us it's a progressive chassis that's underneath the car, the frame, and it is pro streeted in the back. Actually, it had really wide tires. These are brand new tires and wheels. They're a little smaller than what was on there, but it's all narrowed in back, all custom chassis. Uh, it's got four wheel disc brakes, up front is the Mustang II suspension, uh, and it has independent suspension, tubular control arms, coil over shocks, rack and pinion steering. In back, it's a four link system, it has big fat tubular control arms, and it has the uh, adjustable coil over gas shocks in the back. Uh, it has two custom made fuel tanks. They're both of them. They're both under the middle of the car. They're made out of stainless steel. They're tucked up there out of the way, nice and neat. Uh, it has a custom stainless exhaust uh, with some narrow skinny mufflers. It, it makes some good hot rod sound. You'll hear it towards the end of this video. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean. Uh, transmission is the AOD, it's automatic overdrive. Uh, that Ford puts out. It's a narrowed nine inch rear, because like I said, they had big tires under, so they narrowed the rear end. Uh, it has locker gears in the back. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Underneath it, it's, it's not all chrome. You don't have to wax the underneath. It's all proper and respectable, but this is a car you can get in and drive. Now let's check out the body. Obviously it's a fiberglass uh, car. It's a three window coupe. Chop coupe, suicide doors. It is a full fendered car. Uh, it's a three piece, I think you pronounce it Rotlieb uh, metal hood. So you got two sides and the top panel. Uh, so, anyway, let's check out the body. This fiberglass fender is excellent. It said uh, suicide door opens and closes fine. The door fits real nice all around. The roof is all in really good shape, no problems here. Here's an antenna, power antenna, it's like flush mounted uh, to the body. Trunk lid, that sticks up a little bit on this side. Fits nice and square, fenders are real good. I'm just looking at the body, there's a few paint flaws we'll get to in a second. It's all nice, straight, flush mounted uh, fuel door, must open from inside. This door is real nice. All this fits real good. Okay, now the paint. Uh, it's a House of Colors paint. It was, I can't remember it now, but it's on our website description, but it's Oriental Candy Blue, I think is what it is. It was a three-stage paint. Uh, it does have clear coat. There's some stress cracks in the fiberglass uh, paint right here. Here's some uh, scratch that's been touched up on the fender there. This all looks real good. All this looks real good. A couple little, little nicks, little pretty insignificant flaws. Uh, here's a scratch that's been touched up. It has chrome door handles instead of the remote poppers. I personally like the door handle. Um, again, looking at the paint, 
It's all looking pretty good here. I don't want to miss anything. Here's a chip that's been touched up, a little scrape right here. It's touched up. There is, uh, in some of the paint flake, there's a crack right across here in the paint, and a chunk did flake off and at the corner. So this panel, it's actually a separate panel that can be repainted as the recessed license plate. You can see the flush mount tail lights with billet uh, bezels. This paint looks good over here. There's a good chip right here. It's been touched up. So there are some nicks and touch-ups. The edge of the hood right here is touched up. But again, this is one of those cars. It just hits you in the face. People are not going to notice those. Standing here, it's just awesome. They did a really great job painting these flames on there, too. The wheels are brand new. We just put those on there. Had some really outdated uh, wheels and tires. These are brand new polished torque thrust wheels with BF Goodrich tires. Obviously much fatter in the back because of that nice stance. I like it has the full size headlights like they used to have. Even has the Ford script. All the glass was replaced. Has wipers power windows, and the back window's power. Uh, back window goes down as well, so we'll demonstrate that in just a minute. So why don't we uh, stop the turntable and let's open it up. So there is a pull release behind the back seat. You pull it, the trunk opens on its own. It's completely boxed and upholstered. There is some embossed uh, details. And Again, I, they had wide tires, a pro street. You can see this thing was tubbed. If anyone ever wanted to put a huge tire under the back again, you could do that. Uh, it has some custom features. It's upholstered to match the interior. There's also a battery uh, is mounted back here and uh, has a disconnect switch on it as well. So there's the trunk compartment. Let's check out the interior. I think they're called suicide doors because of the way they open. If the car's moving while you're getting out, you get runned over. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is, I think, one of the, or the first time I've ever gotten into one of these, and I had to move the seat forward. I'm six foot tall, and I had to move it forward a few inches just to reach. So there's plenty of room. Yeah, you can be a really tall person and, and fit in this car. Uh, so the dash has a nice billet instrument panel, a set of white face gauges. Alpine uh, CD stereo. Uh, there's some knobs and vents you know, for the heat and air controls, uh, neatly done. There's a nice tilt column with a nice aluminum billet steering wheel. The carpet on the floor is real nice, has bound edges, matching mats, some nice billet pedals, a low car floor shifter. The seats, they're sport seats. They do, uh, they recline, so they're adjustable. And, and again, very roomy. And I want to point at this right here. Uh, there's no uh, wires going to the power window switches. It uh, makes contact, so you don't have a wire you have to worry about breaking. And the entire inside of the cab, the headliner, everything has been upholstered. Uh, door panels have some embossed uh, pattern. So, uh, yeah, it's a very nice and, again, roomy, comfortable interior. Shows about 1,200 miles on the odometer. I don't know how many uh, are on the car. So the motor is 302 Ford motor. They say it's putting out 360 horsepower. This is a cover. This is non-functional. Uh, this is not the fuel injection system. This is a cover over a four-barrel carburetor. It also has a set of headers, uh, HEI ignition system, there's your air conditioning. Has an aluminum champion radiator to keep it running cool. All new, uh, you know, push in fuse block system. Let me see what else I can point out to you in here. Electric fan is in front of the radiator. Chrome valve covers, got a stainless braided dipstick going to the transmission. And uh, 
Yeah, there you have it. This cover comes right off, by the way. It's bolt right in the middle, and that lifts off. You can get at your carburetor. So pretty nice uh, motor compartment. It's got heat and air. This is a really sharp color. I'm standing here looking at it for a second. And uh, the metal flake really sparkles. Oh, I probably forgot to push the lever back in inside. Uh, so there you have it. You got a really cool 34 three window, classic hot rod. Boy, I'm just dropping everything. There you have it. That's my impression of this car. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman, ask them your questions and concerns. They'll help you the best they can. They can get this delivered to your driveway, and they can help you finance it as well at volocars.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to see more. And thanks for watching.